Hey, if you give me a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you how to use USB-C power and lithium polymer battery charging in your 3.3 volt designs. And it'll switch to USB power automatically when you plug in your USB cable. First, let's go over the USB-C connection. Every USB-C connection is gonna have these CC pins and we're gonna to need to use 5.1 kilo ohm resistors to the ground to tell the smart power supplies that we want five volts. I've added this Shockey diode just to make sure that power can never feed backwards. Next, I'm using a microchip MCP73831, and what that does is the battery charging. It's a charge manager. Whenever it has five volts coming in, it'll charge the battery, and it has a programming pin. In this case, I have a 10 kilo ohm pull down resistor, which limits it to 100 milliamps charge. We can change this all the way up to 1,000 milliamps, but if you're using a smaller battery, it's important that you charge it slow. You don't want to just dump 1,000 milliamps into it real quick. And then I'm using a JSTPH connector for the battery. You can buy lithium polymer batteries that have the JSTPH connector already on them. You just want to make sure that the connector on the battery that you're going to use lines up with your design. And here's my 3.3 volt LDO. So if I would use an RP2040, or a ESP32, I would need 3.3 volts. And I'm using this P-channel MOSFET to switch from battery voltage to the five volt power for the LDO when USB is plugged in. Next, I have a simple voltage divider of 75 kilo ohms and 100 kilo ohms. And what this will do will give me a sense voltage going into an analog pin so I can monitor my battery voltage. Now it's a complete rundown of how to add USB-C power and lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries to your design. Follow and subscribe for more electronic stuff.